ESC TV. I'm Liam Davenport, and we have with us today uh, Professor Stefan Windecker, who's from Bern in Switzerland, and we're here to talk about the new myocardial revascularization guidelines. Welcome. Hello. So if we could begin perhaps by talking about how the guidelines have come about. Yes, uh, so this is a joint guideline between a surgical specialty, the European Association of Cardiothoracic Surgery, and the European Society of uh, Cardiology. And I have been privileged uh, to work uh, with an outstanding group of thought leaders in the field of medical treatment, surgical revascularization, as well as percutaneous revascularization to compile this newest edition of uh, the joint guideline. And so what's the main highlight of the new guideline? Certainly one of uh, the items which uh, catches most of the interest among readers will be the selection of the type of revascularization between coronary artery bypass surgery and percutaneous coronary intervention. And what you will find is that actually uh, PCI will be an alternative to coronary artery bypass surgery on equal grounds for patients with proximal lesions, with lesions in the proximal part of the left anterior descending uh, artery. Similarly important, there has been an upgrade to a class 1 indication among patients with a simple left main lesion, so notably those with a syntax score of less uh, than uh, 22. And there has an upgrade uh, been among patients with simple three vessel coronary artery disease with a syntax score of less than 22. Conversely, among patients with more complex coronary artery disease, particularly those with a syntax score of more than 23, the new guidelines say that coronary artery bypass surgery is preferred with a class 1 recommendation and PCI is not recommended with a class 3 recommendation. That's really interesting. So where can uh, physicians go to find out more about those recommendations, but also the guidelines in general? The guidelines uh, will be appearing in print uh, in the European Heart Journal, but they are already available right now uh, in electronic format on the website of the European Society of Cardiology. Well, that's fascinating. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.